facilities, Kiev says its defense system downed 11 drones. Energy substations in the affected region suffered damage, leading to massive power outage in that region. Two mines were also left without power after the Russian attack officials say around 100 miners were trapped underground and were brought out unharmed. A man was injured in the Russian shelling on the village in Russia, while in north eastern Kharkiv region, around 64 towns and settlements were left without power. The attack comes just a day after Ukraine claimed sinking a Russian warship in the Red Sea. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has said its troops have made recent gains in Ukraine. This includes pockets of areas in eastern Donetsk region and Kharkiv region. After the failure of the enemy's counteroffensive, the Russian armed forces retained the strategic initiative along the entire line of combat contact. Our units are moving forward, expanding their control zones and improving their position along the front line. On Friday, several Ukrainian soldiers arrived late at night at a stabilization point located near the eastern city of Bakhmut. Majority of them were injured in the Russian drone and artillery in Donetsk region last week. Stabilization points are often the first point where the wounded receive care after being evacuated from the front line. Russia has also accused Ukraine of carrying out drone attacks on its territory. Belgorod governor said in the last 24 hours, Ukraine unleashed over a dozen drones at villages in Russia's border region, but no casualties have been reported. This is the region where the Russian plane bound for prisoner swap crashed.